Marauders is a tough looter shooter, so I'm going to give you some tips to help you out and hopefully improve your game. If these tips help you out, subscribe to the channel because there will be more tips, quest guides, gameplay and streams. Now I'm putting this tip as the first one, they're not in really any order, but this is extremely important to remember and during the beta tests I forgot to do it quite a few times. But as soon as you get into a station and the area in front of your airlock is safe, because sometimes there can be some AI or even some early players that rush to the other airlocks, but just turn around and look at your airlock name. You don't want to be running around where you're getting low on oxygen, just trying nearly every single airlock you can find to find your own airlock. So it's a quick, simple, easy thing to do. Get out your airlock, secure the area, and turn around and have a look at your airlock name. With looter shooters, everyone wants to loot. That's why we're going into these stations or to these other ships to get the awesome loot. But don't be too greedy. What I found in the early days is if I got a bag full of loot, maybe looted an extra weapon, even if it was just an MP40, sometimes I would just extract. Just getting that extra little bit of loot to build up your backup in your stash of extra weapons or armor will help you out, especially if you go on like a little death run because you won't have to be spending your money to get extra weapons and armor because you already have it in your stash. So if you do manage to say get one quest done but there's two in that area maybe just think about extracting because you don't want to die and lose all that loot. Since death is right around the corner in Marauders you do really need to keep an ear out for footsteps. Now I find the footstep audio in Marauders is pretty damn good. If you're keeping an ear out you'll be able to hear people coming at you and coming from what direction if they're above or below you and if they're stepping on certain bits of material because things like wood will sound different to metal and if you really learn the maps you will probably start to learn exactly where people are standing. So I would always recommend playing these games with headphones because the audio will be better than using speakers and especially for footstep audio you're gonna hear those footsteps a lot easier and locate those enemies a lot easier. In the early days of Marauders you won't have a big stash space and if you go on some good runs you will find yourself getting some more and more weapons even some more exotic stuff like an SVT, an M16, an MG42 or even a DP28 but these take up a lot of space in your stash and the ammo they use also takes up double space compared to like 9mm or 10mm. So what I was doing is selling these rare weapons because I didn't have the ammo to use them and it's quite difficult to find the ammo anyway. But when you sell these weapons, make sure you right click on it and empty the ammo from the weapon because if you was to sell that weapon with the ammo in, it would get you the exact same amount as if you sold it without the ammo. But because this ammo is quite expensive, you will then be able to sell that ammo for maybe an extra K or two. So it's well worth just emptying the ammo from these exotic weapons to then sell that ammo or just build up a stash of that ammo for later on. Now this tip might be a little bit more obvious but try to go for those headshots when you can because armor is pretty good at soaking up damage but if you get those headshots even if they've got a good helmet you will be able to take them out quicker and when you're playing solo coming up against groups of other players get those headshots in because you may end up taking out an entire squad and that just feels great and then you'll have loads of loot all for yourself so try and get those headshots in if you don't know what vaults are they hold high tier loot you need a blowtorch to get into a vault but what if i told you there's an area which is pretty much like a vault it doesn't have the same amount of loot but it can still have high tier loot and a lot of stuff you can sell for thousands when you start your raid and you're flying in your little rust bucket keep an eye out for this security ship because in this security ship not only will there be the security ai and you do have to kill these in some quests but at the end of this ship is the armory you don't need any keys or any equipment to get into the armory when you do open it it does let off a little alarm to let other people know but in here, I found, yeah, DP28, MG42, M16, expensive ammo, loads of other ammo, Panzer armor, which is tier 9 armor, 
There is a safe in there as well. So if you have a lockpick, which I would always recommend to have a lockpick on you, and that safe can hold anything from like a jewelry box, which you can open up in your stash when you extract, and you can get like 30K from just that jewelry box. There's loads of coins in there. There could be war bonds as well, which can sell anywhere between like 13 and 19K for one set of war bonds. So early days, this security ship, especially with the quest as well, is a really good place to hit. Another good place to hit for loot is the drill area in the mining station. And again, this drill area comes with a quest attached to it. You will have a quest where you just need to sit down in the drill pit for a few seconds so you can finish off that quest. There's also a vault in this area and there's this corpse in front of the vault which can sometimes hold war bonds, coins which sell pretty well. And in this little room before the corpse, I have found a blowtorch. So that's me picking up a blowtorch, opening up a door and then there's the vault which we can then break into. Also in this area is a little medical room to get some well needed medical supplies but there's a safe in that medical room as well. So again, have a lock pick, break into that safe. An early quest will see you needing to hand in some junk scrap and it can be quite difficult to find junk scrap out in the stations, but there's a really easy way to get this junk scrap straight away. All you need to do is head to the trader and while the traders keep rotating, there is a trader that sells combat knives for about 1K. Just keep buying some knives. I bought five knives, went to my crafting menu, scrapped them, and I got the three junk scrap I needed because they have a pretty high chance of getting junk scrap. So do that, it's inexpensive. Get your junk scrap in, finish that quest and get on to the next one. Now when you start your raid, you'll be out in your little ship. You will come under fire or, or maybe come under fire if you're lucky. Now you could just hang about in space and repair your ship. But a good thing to do if you can make it to the space station, get in there, dock and just repair your ship before you open your airlock because in that situation you cannot be damaged. You could dock, go do your raid, come back and then repair your ship to fly off because there could be people just hanging around in their spaceship waiting to breach you or waiting to try and just blow you up. So repair your ship when it's docked with the space station for an easy safe repair. Lastly, while you've gone and done your raid, you've killed every single player in the raid always be aware because the AI, they keep respawning. Don't let your guard down and get taken out by some little unarmored guy with a Luger with a lucky headshot. Keep an ear out for those footsteps. Just keep your head on a swivel and extract. So if you like these tips, give the video a like, subscribe for more because more tips, quest guides, gameplays and streams will be coming. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.